All right, we're going to get started with the first question again. Um, it is, AES Global Power Company has introduced plans to rebuild the natural gas-powered Redondo Beach power plant. The California Energy Commission reports that the plant is currently running at less than 5% capacity and produces only about one-tenth of 1% 1 of our district's power. Taking into consideration the environmental and health concerns of having this plant run at a higher capacity in our beach communities, how do you plan to address this issue? I live in Hermosa Beach and I walk my dogs past the, uh, the power plant in Redondo Beach. Uh, it is an eyesore. Uh, I think there are better uh, energy uses. They're trying to do a scaled down job. My big concern is not only the property rights of the residents nearby who are going to be affected by this plant, but the property rights of the plant itself. What's happened is in Hermosa Beach, we had a similar issue. And we had a, a, a ballot initiative several years ago and uh, where they, they cut off oil drilling on some people who had existing leases. And we just settled for $30 million in Hermosa Beach um, on this. So we have to be really careful about litigation. I'm all for scaling down the plant, maybe eliminating the plant, but we need to listen to people like Mike Jen, who's uh, mayor of Redondo Beach who understands the issues and we need to pay attention to the possible legal exposure. <clears throat> I just want to reiterate, uh, we need to take into account uh, the property owners. Uh, of course we want the best environmental result, but we don't want another $30 million lawsuit. Yeah,